Hey there, and welcome back to another exciting video where I'll answer some questions about your Mac, providing easy tips and tricks that will make you an expert in no time. Today I'm talking about disk space. While I can't answer why it feels like you never have enough storage, I do want to talk about something that's eating up quite a bit of space, system, or system data if you're running Mac OS Monterey. What is it? Great question. Let's jump in. System or system data is a somewhat vague category. To put it simply, it's all the system related files that don't fit anywhere else. Things like old time machine backups, old iOS backups, app cache, temporary files, and unused disk images. For the most part, Mac OS typically tries to clean up after itself, but from time to time it misses some files, and after a while those things add up on your hard drive. So, how do you clean up system files on your Mac? I'm going to walk you through five different ways. First, we're going to use an app called Clean My Mac X. It's an app that's designed to help you clean up your Mac and optimize its performance. The best part is you can download it for free and try it out for yourself. Just head over to the link in the video description below. Then, once you have it downloaded and installed, you'll just need to open it up. Click System Junk in the sidebar, then hit Scan. And when it's finished scanning, click the Clean button to get rid of all the system files Clean My Mac X found. The second thing you can try is removing any old Time Machine backups. This might seem odd at first, but Mac OS stores a local copy of your Time Machine backups for truly just-in-case scenarios. But it's supposed to delete them as soon as the backup is complete to your external drive. And, well, you can probably guess, sometimes that just doesn't happen. Then, the backup is left to take up space on your Mac. Well, the good news is, you can manually delete them, and here's how. Open Terminal. You can just do a spotlight search for it, or go into your Applications, and then your Utilities folder to find it. Once you have it open, type in this command. The command is also in the video description below, so you can just copy and paste it instead of typing it in. This will show you if you have any Time Machine backups saved on your Mac. If you do, then you'll want to type or copy and paste this command, obviously replacing XXX with the name and date of the backup. The third option to cleaning up your system files is to use the Mac OS default Optimize Storage feature. All you have to do is click the Apple icon, then About This Mac. Storage, Manage, and finally the Optimize button in the Optimize Storage section. The fourth method I want to show you is how to clear application logs and support files. First, you'll need to open a new Finder window. Then in the toolbar, click Go and go to Folder. Then copy and paste in this file path. Go ahead and delete the files and folders you find in there. New logs will be created as they're needed. You can repeat that same process but using the path for this cache folder instead. That brings us to our fifth and final way. Clean up your Downloads folder. If you're anything like me, your Downloads folder is jam-packed with files you've used once or twice and have never gone back for it. Tidying up your Downloads folder is always a great way to feel like you're getting rid of the clutter. Thanks for watching today's video. If you want to stay in the loop with more tips for your Mac, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You'll get notifications every time we post a new video. Remember to check out the video description for those command line codes and for that link to clean my Mac X. I'll see you next time.